Hello, in this video I'm going to solve question number five from this past paper. Let us read the problem together first. The line with equation y equals to kx minus k, where k is a positive constant, is a tangent to the curve with equation y equals to minus 1 over 2x. Find in either order the value of k and the coordinates of the point where the tangent meets the curve. If you do this problem correctly, this will bring you five points. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you do your calculations correctly, these are the answers that you will get. K is equal to 2. The tangency point has coordinates 1 half and minus 1. Okay, now let us solve the problem. I will solve this problem in two different ways. The first method, I want to use the notion of derivative. But let me remind you of an important uh, thing regarding derivatives. So if you look at this picture here, let us say that I have a curve with equation y equals to f of x. And then this point is a point on the curve. And this line is the line tangent to the curve at that point. Okay, let us assume that the x coordinate of this point is a. Of course, because this point lies on the curve and the equation of the curve is y equals to f of x, the y coordinate of this point will be f of a. So if this point t, the point of tangency, uh, the coordinates will be a and f of a. And if I want to find the slope of the line tangent at that point t, what I need to do, I need to calculate the derivative of f and then calculate the derivative at a. What a is, the a is the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. Okay, so here uh, what we have, we have the curve, the equation of the curve, and we somehow know the equation of the tangent line. And I say somehow because it's still k is missing. Okay, but uh, we know that when I take the derivative of this function, and replay the x value with the x coordinate of the point of tangency, that will be the value of k, because here k is the slope of this line. But of course, in this problem, I do not have access to the point of tangency yet, but I can pretend that I know it. What do I mean by that? So I would say that let t with some coordinates, the x coordinate is a, but the y coordinate, as I described here, is f of a, and this is your function, so the y coordinate becomes minus 1 over 2a. So let this point be the point of tangency. Yes, the point of tangency. Okay, but of course I still don't know a. But I can pretend that I know t, the coordinates and I calculate the k value as usual. What do I mean by as usual? You take the derivative of this function, so the function y is equal to minus 1 over 2x, so you can write it as minus 1 over 2x to the power of minus 1, then you can differentiate it, so minus 1 goes down, I will have 1 over 2x to the power of minus 2, and I will write it with positive exponent as 1 over 2x squared. Okay, so the slope of the tangent line will be what? According to what I described here, I have my derivative, I replace the x-coordinate with the x-coordinate of the point of tangency. So the slope will be 1 over 2a squared. Okay, now I have the slope, yes, I also have the point of tangency, so I can write the equation of the tangent line using this formula y minus y naught equals to the slope, which in this, so let me write m value the slope and then x minus x naught. So here I would write y minus y naught is 
y note and x note are actually the coordinates of any point on this line tangent line but of course the point of tangency also lies on the tangent line so this uh, can be used for y naught and then this can be used by a not for a naught and m is of course this one so this becomes minus minus 2 over a equals to 1 over 2a squared and x minus a so if i do a little bit of simplification so these two minus sign becomes positive i multiply 1 over 2a squared in so this becomes that but when i multiply this here one of these a's and this was cancelled so it becomes minus 1 over 2a and then what i do i will move this to the other side so this becomes 1 equals to i'm oh, sorry i forgot to put x here 1 over 2a squared x and then i have minus 1 over 2a minus 1 over 2a and then finally i have y equals to uh, minus 1 over 2a minus 1 over 2a is simply 2 over 2a which is 1 over a yes okay so that is uh, the equation of the tangent line based on my calculation but on the other hand the equation of the tangent line is given to you and you see that this value and that value are exactly the same so comparing this result with what i have here I understand that this value and that value should be the same. So this means that 1 over 2a squared should be equal to 1 over a. And what we do, I multiply everything by 2a squared. The left-hand side becomes 1. The right-hand side simply becomes 2a. And then, of course, a is equal to 1 half. Okay? Okay, but when a is one half, I put it here and then I have the coordinate of the point of tangency. So the coordinate of the point of tangency will be one half. And then if I put one half here, it becomes minus one. So this is the coordinates of the point of tangency. And now that I have a, the problem also asks you to find k. Okay, so you see that this value here is exactly k. Okay, on the other hand, uh, a is 1 over 2, so k is 2. Yes, so I would say that k is 1 over a. This means that k is 2. Okay, now I want to solve the same problem but this time without using the notion of derivative. Okay, to explain this properly, so let me uh, draw the uh, graph of this function. I've already done that with GeoGebra. This is the graph of the function, y equals to minus one over two x. And then you see that this of course, a hyperbola, and that's, you can do it easily even without GeoGebra. Okay, and then you see that it uh, contains two branches, and then this is a line whose y-intercept is minus k. In the problem, it is mentioned that k is positive, so it means minus k is negative. So if you want to imagine what's happening, I have a line with negative uh, y-intercept and some k value, okay? So, I mean, for example, let us take that this is your k and the lines passing through this can be different, yes? So these are different lines that can pass through this point, yes? Okay, so what are the uh, type of these lines? So one line of this type, sorry, one line of this type will never intersect my graph at all. So it cannot be tangent. Okay, another type of line might be of this type. It will intersect uh, my function at two points, which cannot be, of course, a tangent line. But in some uh, extreme cases, I might have this scenario that will only intersect the graph of the function, of course, one branch of the function at one single point, then I consider this a tangent line. Okay, so I want to impose this condition uh, onto this function. How? I would say that, okay, 
I want to find the intersection points between this curve and this line. Okay, so how can I find the intersection point? I can solve a system of equations y equals to kx minus k on the one hand, on the other hand, y equals to minus 1 over 2x. So I equate the y values so it becomes kx minus k equals to minus 1 over 2x. I multiply everything by uh, 2x, so the left hand side becomes 2kx squared minus 2kx is equal to minus 1. I move minus 1 to the other side, then I have a quadratic equation. Okay, if I solve this quadratic equation, you know that there are three possibilities. Either I do not get any solutions at all, which is plausible. This is corresponding to these type of lines that does not intersect uh, the curve at any points. Or I get two answers, and that is representing these type of lines that intersect my function at two points. But I want to have this line tangent to this so it means that I have to force this equation to have exactly one solution okay because if it doesn't have any solutions it means that this function this line does not intersect uh, with my function at all which cannot be tangent if it intersect the function at two points from the picture you realize that it should be a secant to this function which cannot be a tangent so the only possibility for this line to be tangent is that this equation has exactly one single root or because this is a quadratic equation it should have a double root okay and you know that in order for this equation to have a double root its discriminant delta should be equal to zero so this means that minus 2k squared b squared minus 4ac but you know that this is your b this is your a and this is your c. So this becomes minus 4 times a times c should be equal to 0. Then I get 4k squared minus 8k equals to 0. And what I do, I factor 4k out. Then I will have a k minus 2 equals to 0. So I will get two answers. Either k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 2. But of course, because it is mentioned in the problem that k is positive, the first answer is not acceptable, and the second answer, k equals to 2, is acceptable. So here, this one is not acceptable. Of course, you can also see why it's not acceptable from graph. If k is equal to 0, then y becomes equal to 0. y equals to 0 is this line. So, of course, uh, you know that this is a horizontal asymptote for the function. And horizontal asymptote is also can be viewed as tangent uh, line, but at infinity. So, this is not a proper tangent line. So, k equals to 2 is the only acceptable answer. So you see here in this solution, I find the value of k first. And then when k is known, now I want to find the point of tangency. So what should I do? I bring that k equals to 2 and put it that in this equation, because now I am interested in the point of intersection between these two for this particular value of k. Okay, so I put this k here, then the equation will be uh, 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0, but you immediately realize that I can write it as 2x minus 1 squared equals to 0, and then this tells me that x is equal to 1 half. So if you ask me what x is, I would say that this is the x-coordinate of the point of intersection between these two functions, but because k equals to 2 forces this equation to have one root, that point is the point of tangency because the line becomes tangent. And of course, if x is equal to 1 half, uh, I put it in here because the point of tangency also lies on the function itself. So if I put one half in this equation, the y value that I get will be uh, equals to minus one. 
So this means that t, the point of tangency, has x coordinate 1 half and the y coordinate minus 1 half. And that is exactly the answer we got from the previous solution. Okay, so I hope that this video was useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.